Hey, did I miss it? It's the first day back to school. Hi class, how you doing out there? But today is a special day for us back to school. You get to stay home in your pajamas or in your clothes and, uh, and watch me on video. We're going to be doing school starting today. You'll watch some videos with me with my giant head. There's my head. Ah! Oh, now it's back. And you'll be doing some of your work papers. You'll be saving your papers and your mom will bring them back to me in a couple weeks. So I want you to still do your best on your papers. And I miss you guys so much. I love you. But I miss you guys so much. And I know you're doing well because your parents are texting me and I'm hearing from you guys that you're liking the videos I sent already. And so I'm glad I will send some story videos out. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do one every day, but I'll send some out whenever I can for story time. And uh, so I'm glad that you like that very much. So I'm doing a lot of crazy little things, trying to stay on the camera. And we'll have some puppets, some animals visit us. Uh, the other day, um, uh, who came and visited us the other day in the video? I picked up somebody. I picked up, uh, I picked up, oh man, who was that? I picked up, what was his name? Mm. Oh, what was his name? Stitch, there you are. Yes. Stitch came with me the other day from vacation. And uh, so he's hanging out with me. They closed Disneyland, so Stitch gets to hang out with me for a while. And so that's nice. And so since he's not working at Disney, he gets to come to school and help make videos with me. So, and for you. So, I'm very happy and thankful for that. And like God says, we should always be thankful for everything. So, that's good. But, I love you guys so much and I miss you guys so much. But today's going to be exciting. And you're going to do some fun work today. I know some of you have been waiting to do your work. It's been like two weeks since you get to do any of your papers. I know some of you guys did your crafts. Caden sent me a picture that he did his crafts. Um, his lamb. And so that's neat. If you guys do any of your crafts, have your mom take a picture and send it to me. That's very exciting. Or even take a picture of you doing your work. And you can show me. Actually, you know what would be a good idea? How about you, when you guys are doing your work, have your parents today take a picture and send it to me. And so I can see where you're working at, either at your table or on the floor or wherever you're working at and doing school. When you're doing your papers, do that. And that would be awesome. And I would like that very much. And then I could kind of see your little mini classroom you have in your living room or in your bedroom or wherever you're at. That'd be exciting. Yeah, you think so? Oh, Stitch is excited too. He likes it. Yeah, he gets excited as the years go up and he all runs around and everything. So anyways, but I'm so glad you guys are here. So first off, let's go ahead and start. And we're going to do our pledges. And... Uh, I'm going to put Stitch down here so he can do our pledges with us. And, and also, we'll put him right here and we can see a little bit of his head. So I want you to stand up and we're going to still do our pledges. And we're going to do the American flag. I'll hold it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, let's do the Christian flag. I'll get that. Do it with me. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. And we'll do also the Bible. I got the Bible right here. Here's the Bible, God's holy word. Okay, ready? I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I'll make a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thank you very much. Good job, class. You guys remember that. That was good. You were home for two weeks and you still remember that. That's good. Super smart. Okay, let's go ahead and pray for our day. And then I have a quick little announcement to make. A surprise announcement you might have forgotten about. But I didn't forget. But let's go ahead and pray, okay? I want everybody to close your eyes. No peeking. 
Fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. We ask Lord that you help us at home during our virtual school, our school on videos. Help us do our best and help us do all of our papers. Help us not complain or get mad at home, but help us obey and be nice at home. Help us show your love and be kind. Lord, we ask that you be with Caden. Help him do a great job at home. We ask, Lord, that you be with Eunice. Help her do a good job, too. Lord, we ask that you also be with Ava. Help her have a good day and get her job, all of her work done. Lord, we ask that you be with Edward. Help him have a good day and get all of his work done. Lord, we ask that you be with Randall. Help him get all of his work done. And not to eat any of his mommy's snacks. And Lord, we ask that you be with Timothy. Help him get all of his work done today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Liam. Help him get all of his work done today too. Lord, we ask that you be with Prince. Help Prince get all of his work done today. And Lord, we ask that you be with Rebecca. And help her get all of her work done today too. Lord, we ask that you be with Madison. Help her have a good day and get all of her work done too. And Lord, we ask that you be with Sonia. Help her get all of her work done and have a good day. Lord, we ask that you be with Lorenzo. Help him get all of his work done so he can have a good day too. We thank you, Lord, for loving us. We thank you that we can have school this way. And Lord, we ask that you help all the people that are sick get better. We'll pray for them. Thank you for loving us, and thank you for being good. God is always good. Amen. Thank you, class. You did a good job being quiet during prayer time. I appreciate that very, very much. Well, I did want to... My nose itches. I did want to uh, tell you about something. So, uh, you're going to have to stare. Let's pick you up, and I'm trying to carry you. Let's come over here to our calendar. Oh my goodness, we've been waiting for a special day on our calendar. What is that day? What is that special day? I remember yesterday was the 29th. So that was Sunday. So today is Monday, the 30th Monday. So let's put this, our little flower guy, behind here. The 30th. What is so special about that day? What does that say? Does that say, happy birthday? Happy birthday? Wait a second. We were counting down somebody's birthday. I think I remember who it is. Do you guys remember whose birthday it is today? Class, I can't hear you. Whose birthday is it? That's right. It's Timothy's birthday. So, Timothy, happy birthday, buddy. And we're so glad that you're going to have a good day today on your birthday. So first off, let's do our days of the week. Today is March 30th on a Monday. Say that with me. March 30th, Monday. Let's say our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, but you know, we don't have fun Fridays now. But you get to have like a fun Friday every day. You get to have a special snack at home every day. So that will be exciting for you. Your mom gets to make you or your dad or your grandma and grandpa gets to make your special snack every day. Now, Timothy, on your birthday, you'll notice I wrote you a little note on your papers for your birthday and gave you a sticker. And you also got this for your birthday. And uh, it's a little candy, and everybody on their birthday will get one of these. And uh, so, uh, get away. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Ah. You can't eat his candy. That's, it's not your birthday. Oh, oh, you don't want this one. This one's all wet and slimy. Ugh, 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 ugh. Hey, y'all. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, you don't need to lick it up. He's so silly. So silly. But I want you guys to make sure. Okay, could you please get your nose back? Thank you. Thank you. So I can tell everybody what's going on today. Okay. Now, 
I want you to do your work today. And the next video, you'll be, I'll be talking about your work, what you're going to do. But I want to make sure that you have a good day today. And I wanted to take a moment and talk to you about our Bible. And I'm going to grab that right here. In one second, it's way over here. Okay. And our Bible today, Leo's going to sit here and watch. And we've talked about this before. And our Bible today is Jesus loves the children. Children come to Jesus. And Jesus has loved the children throughout his whole ministry. Remember, he healed many children. Darius' daughter was sick. Um, other people's children, had one had died and he said he was just sleeping and brought the child back. And there was even some adults who were really busy around Jesus and they're trying to keep the children away from Jesus. And they're like, get back kids. Go play. Do something else. Jesus is busy with the adults. And Jesus said, No, let the children come to me. Because he loves the children. And he wants to talk to them and teach them about God. So that's why that's important. So as a young age, when you're four and five, you can learn about God. You can learn about his Bible verses. And we can help keep Jesus in our hearts. And we know that Jesus loves us very, very much. And remember, this is like our Bible verse um, picture, that Jesus loves every one of us. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And the Bible talks about that God is love, and God loves us. Jesus loves us. We are all very special to him. We're all different. None of us are the same. Some of us are tall. Some of us are skinny or small. Some of us are skinny. Well, not me. I'm not skinny. Some of us are skinny, and some of us have... Brown hair, messy hair. I got messy hair here. Oh. Some of us have red hair, blonde hair, curly hair. Oh, I think I said black hair, brown hair, curly hair, gray hair. I got a little bit of gray and all, but you know, and our skin's different colors. And, but we're all special. We're all different. If we were all the same, if we were all blue or all orange, or all purple. I like purple. But if we were all, yes, I know, Madison, you like purple too. But if we were all the same color, it would be boring. That's why God made us all different and special. And that's why God loves us. We're all unique and we're precious to him. The Bible says we're precious. Let's sing the song, Jesus Loves Me. Do you remember it? We can say it together. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. You want to do another song? Maybe I'll have to make a video of just songs, but we'll see if my voice can last that long. But let's see. Let's do another song. <gasps> Zacchaeus. That was, that's a good song. Okay, it's kind of hard to show. I'll try to scoot back here. Okay, here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man. A wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as that Savior passed that way, he looked up in that tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you calm down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. And even Zacchaeus, he was a small guy and he was important to Jesus. He was special to Jesus that Jesus wanted to go to his house and have lunch with him and talk to him about God. And how much God loved him and how much Jesus loved him. And how he could be a better person and change his life. Because Zacchaeus was a very honest guy. He was cheating people. But after he met with God and he realized he was doing wrong, he became a better person. And the people he cheated and stole from, the Bible says he gave them back extra. And he, he became a, a good guy and a good reputation. And people knew that he loved the Lord because he changed his life and he acted differently. So we need to make sure we do that. And it starts with us as kids that Jesus loves us. 
you know, and Jesus sees that children are just as important as adults, you know, and that's wonderful because sometimes some people's like, oh, I'm not going to deal with you just till you get older, you get bigger. But no, Jesus loves us even when we're little and young. And he wants us to learn his Bible verses. He wants us to be good. And then when we grow up, we can do great things for God. Remember, the Bible says God's way is the perfect way, best way. And I want to have a perfect life myself. The best life I can have. I don't want to mess it up myself or just have an okay life. I want to have the best life. And by doing that is just God's way, Jesus' way, the perfect way. So I want you to remember that today. I want you to watch your um, your video and your Bible verses today. I want you to watch your phonics video today. I also want you to watch your numbers video today. And then I'm also going to, I have another video for you to watch too on instructions. I'm going to make that up in a moment for you. And you can watch that. Now you, And we'll talk about your papers. But I am so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're watching me. And I'm so glad that... Yes, yes, I'm so glad that Stitch is here too. If you would only... He's such a camera hog, he wants to be in the picture. Okay, stop it. You cannot kiss them. Stop it. Do not lick them. Yuck, yuck. Ugh, clean the screen. Ugh, he slobbers a lot. I guess he does that in the cartoons and the movies too. I just didn't realize that. They was always wet. Ugh. Anyways, we're going to have fun this week. Oh, there's something where they tell you something very special. I forgot. I almost forgot. Now, let me tell you this. Wednesday is going to be pajama day. So you can wear your pajamas to school on Wednesday if you want. And I'll have to bring my pajamas in and we'll have pajama day on Wednesday. Okay? And then Friday we're going to do another special day too. But this Wednesday, two days, two more wake up days will be pajama day. And you say, Mom and Dad, I get to stay in my pajamas today. Yes, yes, yes. He's happy too. Okay, I'll see you later. Get your work done. Bye-bye. Oh, I gotta go.